Hey guys, how are you? Today what we're going to do is we're going to animate a logo. We're going to make it just rotate, um, just spin around. We're going to export this as a video file and as a transparent GIF. The transparent GIF will be to add to your overlays on OBS so you can have your logo rotating. Um, which, you know, it could be something different for you, something more exciting and it's very easy to do. We're going to be doing this on Blender 2.8, which is a free software. We're trying to keep everyone's costs as low as possible. Um, so yeah, my name is Oz Grillis. I primarily stream on Twitch. Um, I also make YouTube videos on how to improve overlays, OBS, um, a bit of design information as well. Um, I usually stream Australian evening time, which equates to US early morning and UK midday. Um, but yeah, enough about that. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, as you can see, we're in Blender. We're gonna delete the cube and we're gonna to go to file and import and we're gonna get an SVG file. So what you need, you will need an SVG file of your logo if you do not have one and you have say a PNG or a JPG. In the description below, there is a link to a video that I've made about converting them into an SVG, which is also using a free software. Um, yet again, keeping the cost down and just making it easy really. So we're gonna import this SVG. It's on the desktop. Twitch logo SVG, we're gonna be using the Twitch logo. All right, so it's up here. We wanna bring it down here. As you can see, there is five different paths up here um, as it is split the file. So we're gonna go select each one and we're gonna go object, set origin, geometry to origin. We're gonna do that for all of them. All right, so as you can see, they're a bit off here. So we're going to just play around with this. We're gonna to go to the move. Just gonna line them up. So we've got the eye here and the other eye. All right, so I'll try and link all them up. So we want the Z to be at zero. So they're all at the same. So I'll just make it like that. So it's all back together, the file. All right, so that looks pretty good there. So we're gonna go select the top one, we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna click each individually. So then we're gonna to go to object, we're gonna go down to convert and we're gonna go the mesh from curve. Which we've done, so they're all the same down here, which is upside down triangle. All right, so then we're gonna to go to object and we're gonna to go to join. So now it's just one one there all right so that's pretty good so we're gonna make the object 3d so we're gonna select it we're gonna hit tab which puts it into edit mode up the top left here we're gonna just look at it from this angle here we're gonna hit a and then e and you can bring it down or up whatever you want so we're just gonna make it just a slight bit there and then hit tab to go back into normal mode and now it is 3D. All right, so now we're going to get it to about where we want the camera to look at it from. And about here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control and Alt and Zero, and it brings the camera in to where you want. So what we're going to do, so that's zoomed in too much. So we are going to just hit the Z in the location and back it up a bit. Then we're going to go up to the camera up on top right. We're going to select that. We're going to go to move and we're going to just move the camera around until we got it where we want it. All right, so that's about right. So we're going to bring up the timeline here. For frame one here, we're going to select the item, which is the logo. Frame one, we want to have the Y axis and the rotation over here at zero. 
which it already is. We're gonna right click on that and we're gonna go insert keyframe. We're gonna make this whole sequence about 120 frames long. So we'll go to the end here and make that 120. Then we're gonna to go to frame 60 and we're gonna make the Y axis at 180 degrees. And then we're gonna insert keyframe there as well. So right click on there and then insert keyframe. Then we're gonna to go to frame 120 and we're gonna make the Y axis at 359 degrees. And we're gonna also right click on that and go insert keyframes. All right. So we're gonna bring it back down to one and we're gonna play. As you can see, it is rotating. Hopefully we rotate properly here, which we have. So now you've got Twitch, the Twitch logo rotating, it's 3D and it is in a loop at the moment. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a background for our video. So we're gonna go down to the world and we're going to have the surface as the background and we're gonna put a color in for it. So it's gonna do like a bit lighter, maybe like a purple. Then we go up here to the viewport shading and it's gonna show it there what it's gonna render as. So we want it more purpley. So say we had the video looking like that. You know, or you just have your standard black. Or you could have white. Anyway, so we have it, we'll just do it as black. So we're gonna to go to here, where we've got the dimension of everything here, which is called the output. So we're just gonna leave it at 1080p, 1920 by 1080. So you can do whatever you want there. So what you're gonna do here is decide where you wanna put it. We're just gonna put it on the desktop and name it uh, Twitch video spinny, accept. All right, so what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go down to the file format here and we're gonna make it an AVI or an FM MPG, either one. So we'll do it that one, it can have RGB, it doesn't really matter for this as it's a video file. Go to your encoding and you can make it better quality or whatever. We're just going to leave it. Also, if you wanted to add audio, you can change the audio codec to MP3 and have audio in a separate thing down here, which I will have another video, but for this Twitch logo, I don't think we need audio. Audio is better for like transitions and stuff like that. Anyway, so we're pretty much ready to go. So we're going to go up to here and go render and go render animation which it is doing right now. Okay, right guys, so the animation's done. Um, we'll go have a look what that looks like. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we'll go back into Blender. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna make a transparent GIF. All right, so to do that, what we're gonna do is you go back here, we're just gonna control Z so it's the backgrounds back to what it was. We're going to go to, I believe it is the context render. We're gonna go down to film and we're going to go to transparent. So we've got that there is transparent. When we're gonna go back to our um, output, we're gonna take this down to 25% because if you're gonna put this in your overlays, you're not gonna need it at 1080 size. So then we're gonna go down to output and we're gonna make a new folder. Just call it GIF T, I guess GIFT. <laughs> go back here, we're going to put it into GIF. So we're gonna to go to desktop, GIFT, accept. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna make sure that the file format is PNG and we're gonna have the color as RG. BA. Unfortunately, RGBA is not in the video rendering, so we can't just do it as a video, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that's just what we're gonna have to do. But we're gonna go to, and now we're gonna go to render animation.
All right, so that's done there. So we'll just select out of here. Let's check if it works. Um, and it has. For some reason as a file. We go to Google Chrome, we're gonna to go to GIF Maker. And we're going to upload these. No, go to gift, hit the first one, scroll down to the end, select, hit shift, and then hold shift and hit 120. So it selects all of them open. We'll be updating them now. So this doesn't take a while. So what we want to do is we want to change this animation speed to 50 milliseconds. And once we upload, it'll have the preview there. So it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to download the GIF and upload it to OBS um, once it's done. Now, so that's it done there. So we've got the preview there. Still uploading a bit, so it's a bit jittery. There we go there, so it's better there. Let's go down to here, we'll go create GIF animation. Then we go to download the GIF. We'll come up here. We'll go into our OBS. We'll just add it to the scene that we're in now. Go to media source. We'll just make it spinny. Okay. We'll make sure you hit the loop. We'll go to browse. It's in downloads. Okay. And that's it there on the top left. So that's how you upload a spinning logo, a transparent logo to your OBS. Also how you can make a video with it as well. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, comment below. There may be a few things that I haven't gone over correctly. Um, but yeah, just let me know. You can also find me on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash ozgrillis. Um, feel free to drop by there anytime. Also, I'll be uploading this design into the two discords that I run. Um, so I'll post the links down below for these discords. You can just join them. You can use that Twitch spinning logo. There's also a couple other uh, designs in there that are for free as well that you can use. No problems there at all. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope I was informative and I'll see you guys next time.